Anyways, would, would you want to hibernate? Yes. Three months of just sleep? I don't know. Like, I'd, I want to hibernate if I can get those three months back at the end of my life. <laughs> Every year. I don't like give up a lot of my life, but I don't. Winters, if it wasn't for the football, winters would be a bad place. I don't like winter very much. What, like, I kind of hibernate in a different winter. way in the sense that my activities in winter change from my activities in summer. Yeah. yeah. So I hibernate in, like, the gym and I do a lot of research and I go into myself in the winters and then I try and blossom in the summer with all my new <laughs> knowledge. Knowledge and experiences. And experiences, yeah. And then, yeah. Huh. What's your favorite season? There it is. Why don't humans hibernate? Yeah, but. Let's see. Oh, two reasons. Firstly, our evolutionary ancestors were tropical animals with no history of hibernating. Oh. Humans have only migrated into temperate and subarctic latitudes oh. in the last 100,000 years answer. or so. There you go. That's not quite long enough to evolve all the metabolic adaptations we would need to uh, be able to hibernate. Much more importantly, though, we discovered fire, clothes, shelter, <laughs> hunting, and agriculture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah they're <laughs> All of which are much more effective ways of surviving the cold. Oh, there cold. you go. There you go. <laughs> are they more effective? 